on September 6, 2014. UCLA stepped onto the Rose Bowl field. But little did they know that going up against Memphis, that they would be entering the Twilight Zone. You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Let me just begin by saying, what the fuck was that? Okay. This game turned out nothing like I imagined. It was as bad as last week, but in completely different ways. How is that possible? The Twilight Zone? Probably not. But, the shit was weird. Going into the game, okay, this, this was the generalized feeling. We didn't... We didn't know what to expect from our offense after only scoring seven points the week before at Virginia. And Brett Hundley getting sacked five times. Looking like complete dog shit. While our defense last week was raw, raw, raw. Get it. Get it. They got it done. And they were being hailed. Champions of UCLA. UCLA defense. So the one thing us Bruins fans knew, 100% without a doubt, that our defense was going to rock shit tonight. We're like, at 14 points, maybe a shutout? Possibly, if our, if our offense can get going? If our, if our offense can get a little going? Could be a shutout? No. No, fuck no. Defense sucked. They're terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Even my daughter thinks it's funny. That's how bad we were. Daughter was laughing at our defense. Letting Memphis run all over us and score a bunch of TD TDs. What's up with that? What's up with that shit? I don't know. I don't know what happened. But our offense... Shit. Hunley threw for like 396 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, he had the one pick. That's an ill advised pass. Um, he just. I don't know what the fuck he 
to tell you the truth. He's just like, yup. Ah, I wish I could take that shit back. That's what tied it up. And then all of a sudden, we were like, that was the exact face I made when Hunley threw that interception. But, the good news is, is Hunley doesn't let that stuff get to his head. He didn't, he didn't go to the sideline and was like, man, I let this one go. No, he's like, coach, I'm sorry. That's on me. I'm going to go back out there, and I'm going to get this shit done. And guess what? He went out there and got shit done. And that's what truly great quarterbacks do. They don't dwell in their mistakes. They fix them. So, Brett Hundley, you see LA, you see LA, fight, fight, fight. That's what you get. A clap. Hundley gets an A clap. Bruin defense, they get no A clap. They get a what the fuck was going on? Where was the defense that I saw last week? I don't know. Shit didn't exist. Pissing me off. Anyways, so once again, we had a lopsided night where one side of the one one part of the team did well and the other part of the team looked like ass assholes. Straight assholes. But they look like. So the key is next week, going up against Texas Longhorns. We can glitter on Vince Young fighting people in the club because they made fun of the Texas Longhorns. That shit was funny. I laughed when I saw that video. If you haven't seen that video, look it up. It's hysterical. Anyways, run up against Longhorns. What I want to see is the offense and the defense. Play good together. What a concept. But anyways, I think it's safe to say we can take the integral college playoff and completely remove it from our memories. Because we aren't going to be in it. I would rather completely denounce our ability to even get there and be pleasantly surprised by us pulling together and unifying and going out and proving everybody wrong that we deserved that number seven preseason ranking and that we deserved the hype and that we deserved to be in the college football playoff than to just give it to them and be disappointed. So, until next time, stay strong, Bruin Nation. We will persevere. We will push through. We are the Mighty Bruins. Please subscribe. Until next time, I'm out of here.